So next thing, let's make an action that will make the ghost move horizontally right and left or left and right. So in a resource tree in the objects, we are going to open up the object horizontal ghost object. And in here, we are going to create an event. I'm going to click on create. And the first thing I want to know is what's the speed of the ghost moving. So I'm going to go to control and I'm going to set my variable here. I'm going to drag and drop set variable into my actions panel. And I'm going to give the variable name here called as speed. And I'm going to assign in value to the speed. Now we need to keep the speed of this ghost less than the player speed. So player speed we set it as 5. So we'll set something less than 5 for this ghost speed. So I'm going to say 3. Oops, not here. The value where it says 0, I'm going to say 3. And press OK. Now we're going to create another event. And we're going to call it a step event. And in a step event, we want it to move. I'm going to drag and drop move fixed and I'm going to select a direction where it should move and I'm going to say the speed is going to be the variable and I'm going to press OK. Okay now we have to um, check if the ghost is colliding with the player. What happens if our ghost collides with the player? That means we have to restart the level, correct? So I'm going, I'm going to click on add event and then I'm going to create a collision event and I'm going to select object player. So if the ghost is colliding with the object player, what happens? So first thing I want to do is display a message. I'm going to go to main 2 tab and drag and drop the display message icon into my actions panel and I'm going to give a message and I'm going to display the message as you have been eaten by the ghost. Restart level. And press OK. So once I display the message, so I want the room to restart. So I'm going to go to the main one tab and I'm going to look for restart. And this is my restart the current room. So I'm going to drag this and drop it here. Now let's test to see if a horizontal ghost is moving horizontally or not. So all the ghosts are moving horizontally. Okay, wait, now we need to add another event here. So what happens if the ghost is colliding with these walls? So right now the ghost just ran out of the screen. So we'll go to horizontal ghost and we will create a collision event for the wall. So I'm going to add event, collision event, and I'm going to select my object block, that is my wall. How do I make the ghost bounce off the wall? So I'm going to go to my control and I'm going to use my set variable here. I'm going to change the variable speed in here. So I'm going to drag and drop set variable. So for my variable speed, I'm going to modify the value, change the value to a different value. So I'm going to say speed times minus one. Now, why did I do minus one? So let's imagine that this ghost is moving right, 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 right. So at the speed of three, and it bounces against this wall and we say speed times minus 3 so it's right now it's moving at the speed 3 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 so when I say minus 3 so that means it's reversing the direction so instead of saying moving at the speed right minus 3 now it will move at the speed 3 on the reverse side that's the left side as soon as the ghost is hitting the wall the minus 1 here will negate its direction. So right now this is moving right, right, right at the speed of 3 and as soon as it hits the wall it becomes minus 3. Minus 3 means, minus means 
reverse the direction left and then it will move left at the speed of 3. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to press OK. Now let's run, test and see if it works correctly. And yes it does.